Hi there, it's Yvonne Yee with Berkshire Hathaway PenFed Realty, back with more info about your next move. Today we're going to talk about appraisals. An appraisal is a formal opinion of value generally required by a lender to provide guidance on how much money can be responsibly leveraged against a specific property. They'll consider factors such as the condition of the home, overall market conditions, and comparable sales. In an ideal scenario, the appraised value would come in equal or greater to the contracted price. When that happens, the, the transaction continues to run its course without interruption or additional negotiations. If, however, the appraisal comes in lower than the contracted price, there are a few different possible outcomes. If there is an appraisal contingency in place, the buyer has the right to walk away from the contract and retain their full earnest money deposit. Generally speaking, before a buyer avoids a contract, their first step is to attempt to negotiate the purchase with the seller. If the seller agrees, the purchase price can be reduced to the appraised value. If the gap between the appraised value and the contracted price is significant, the parties will often agree to reduce the price to a number somewhere in between. This is only possible when the buyer is able to bring enough cash to closing to maintain the lender's financing ratio requirements. That means if a lender agrees to finance 80% of a purchase, in other words, the down payment was 20%, they will only actually finance 80% of the appraised value, not the purchase price. It's whichever number is lower. So the buyer would have to bring up that difference in cash. In instances where the seller is not willing to reduce the purchase price, the buyer still has the option to purchase the home if they can come up with the cash. In cases where there's no appraisal contingency in play, the buyer is actually required to move forward with the purchase at the contracted price, regardless of the appraisal value. If the buyer is unable to perform due to a low appraisal and there's no appraisal contingency, well, unfortunately, that buyer is likely to lose their earnest money deposit upon voiding the contract. As always, if you have any questions about how all this pertains to you, I would be happy to schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Until then, I'll see you at the next video.